And high flyers are having a good old time out here. Look at them. Oh, there's still one just in there as well. I've just been out here doing a little bit of work and I let them out. Um, chickens are out here having to scratch around and just just enjoying it really. It's a beautiful day. Um, getting a few showers. You can see the it's pretty wild weather out there. But the high fly is doing pretty well. Watch out chicken. Come on. So it looks like they've been, you know, definitely enjoying the purchase. Um, I'm going to measure up from here to here in just in that space. And I'm going to put in some um, little perches for them, just single perches so they can all sort of escape each other. Um, I'm going to make that in a separate video, probably the next couple of days. Um, back to work tomorrow, so I'm going to have to, um, you know, the videos will probably slow down for a little bit. But we'll still get some up, um, and one of them will probably be these perches for in here so i'll be making some high flyer um just little ledge perches um it's gonna be much better than this anyway just keeps them all separate so they're not fighting but stay tuned for that video if you want to see more high flyers um and you like the long videos hit that like button down the bottom there um because i don't mind these birds i'm actually really starting to enjoy them they're very peaceful um the old uh, racing pigeons are generally, you know, fairly chaotic. There's always fighting going on, but these guys are pretty peaceful. Just at the moment, they're all relaxing, I guess because they're all little. But um, it's going to be pretty good when we start getting them out and getting them flying around. So what we might do is um, just leave these guys here. I'll measure up this thing, and then we'll head back home, and we'll go and check on the rest of the birds in the loft, see how they're going. Um, I've had these guys out here for about an hour, and they, they really enjoy coming out and sitting on these ledges. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe um, and don't forget to hit that like button. I'm still waiting for one of these videos to get up to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. That's my goal. If we can do that, um, that'd be amazing. But I'm sure we can. We're getting about 10,000 views in 24 hours anyway on every video we upload. So I'm sure that um, you can take one second at a time. Let's do this. I'm so excited to get these birds out anyway. But we're going to have to wait quite a while, unfortunately. I'm definitely keen to get some nest boxes in here though. I reckon there's one or two that actually will breed. I know that um, Mr. Kabuta will, um, if we can find another pair for him. I don't mind, just like I was a bit dubious about, um, I think they're watching, they're watching some bird up there flying around. Yeah, I was a bit dubious about crossing them, but a lot of you guys are just like, get them breeding, get more birds going, um, because apparently you have the potential to lose these things easier than a racing pigeon so um, i'm trying to get the flock if i can get double the amount of birds or three times the amount of birds i've got here going um that'd be fantastic but i will have a bigger loft by that time so it's getting exciting these guys are really cool don't forget to drop some questions down below because um at some point i'm going to do a video with questions All right, it's time for you guys to go back in. I need to measure this thing, sort out your food, and I need to get home before the rain sets in again. All right, come on, time for you to go back in. In we go, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In we go. Good birds, these are pretty smart. Gonna have some better perches for you soon, so you got a bit more room to fly in here. I'll put them around the outsides. Now it's time to get these crazy chickens back in here. See you guys at home.